this video I am going to discuss about a starting concurrent workflow from the command line. So let's let's open command prompt. If you write to uh, PMCMD, so write to uh, PMCMD is not recognized as an internal or external command. So let's open. Uh, let's see where is the PMCMD file. So click C drive, Informatica folder 9.5.1, server and after bin. And now press B. So at here, uh, PMCMD executable file is the exe file so let's copy this location and use a cd that is for change directory and now paste the location so if you press enter and now if you write pm or cmd so this time or uh, that's involved. Now let's exit from uh, PMCMD prompt and add here. Or uh, let's write to uh, command for or uh, to run to start concurrent workflow from the command line. So first uh, I need to write uh, PMCMD. and uh, write a start workflow sv4 service and uh, give the integration service name so my integration service name int so write capital letter int and uh, next give the domain and now write to uh, domain name so to find our domain name uh, click right uh, repository and after configure domain so this is my domain name so right or domain underscore so this oh this is my uh, this is my domain name so right at there and uh, next Right, you or oh, that is for username. So, my username administrator at tr and a uh, password administrator. Now, next, or uh, right folder name. So, my folder name. Or uh, DW underscore dev DW underscore dev and now next para file that is parameter file so my parameter file is um, Uh, C drive server info server. So this is my parameter file. Uh, copy the location. Paste it there. And uh, copy the parameter file.
uh, and a parameter find type txt so write txt and uh, next instance so write for instance rim so first instance is or dpt or dpt 10 so i will give the instance name or dpt 10 and now write workflow name so our workflow name wf underscore m underscore concurrent underscore wm underscore example copy the workflow name and test it there now everything has been done so let's uh, start instance name or dpt10 so and here i got invalid option para file is the problem so right here i forget to write m or write to m and now press enter so now or this time workflow instance or 10 dp to 10 is in running state so right here connected to the integration service a starting workflow and a starting execution so let's uh, see the definition Uh, so right here a starting concurrent workflow from the command line so right here the definition is you can start one workflow instance at a or time at a time from the command line so right here if i'm going to start the workflow start the workflow advance option can of at your selected or uh, three different instance so that workflow now click on uh, advanced option also look at the uh, this time three uh, three instance of workflow is in running state so actually the definition is uh, by using command line you can run one instance at a time but if you are using informatica a start workflow advanced option so you can uh, run multiple workflow sorry multiple instance in the workflow So this time, uh, let's uh, execute the command. So right here, you can give only one instance, uh, dpt10, dpt20, dpt30, one by one. You can run the instance by using command line. So let's uh, uh, this time change the instance or uh, dpt20. So dpt20 instance is in running instance and I also use or uh, dpt10 to run the instance. So 
so that you uh, or to run uh, more than one workflow instance, run the pmcmd uh, start workflow command multiple times. So we have to use um, a start workflow command multiple times. So this time I'm going to use uh, instance or uh, dpt30. So enter 30 and now enter 10. Now into 20. So look at the three instances of workflow is in running instant. So this is the difference between uh, uh, using command line. So command line uh, mode you can uh, start one workflow instance at the time from the command line. But uh, by using Informatica uh, you can uh, start multiple instances of the workflow. So I hope guys you understand um, how to start concurrent workflow from the command line mode. So now it's all done at here. Thanks for watching. See you next week.